video in now. We're video in, sorry. What? You what? Eh? We're video in, so, you know, don't go criticising uh, I'm just saying, um, the you... Prime Minister or something. Oh, you, I wouldn't do queen, that. Or the Queen. Did you happen to take the, bring the, the, the cauliflower with you? For you? It was a cauliflower, brand new. I only bought it a couple of days ago. No, I, I, I just had that cottage pie. But would we get done for criticising them? What? Well, I don't know what to do with that. Well, you're not being filmed, so... Huh? So, I guess, <laughs> Agatha, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> it's, I'd alter your voice, though, uh, you know, so you'd really do sound like Agatha Christie rather than the real person that you are. No, I wouldn't criticise anybody. It's not my place to. Well... I mean, you, you, you got, we've got freedom of speech here. As long as you don't say anything defamatory, like... Uh, you no, don't say it for us. <laughs> no, no, but it, you, if, you, if you said, for instance, like, oh, I think Boris Johnson's uh, a thief or something like that, and I, you know, and, um, I mean, I don't really... I think it might be unwise at times, but, but which one of us isn't unwise? But um, but if if somebody says oh and the royal family they've got all their money from uh, robbing other royal families or something like that mm. that could get into trouble or something, but I'm only saying it as a joke as an example of oh, yeah. free freedom of speech. I mean I I do like uh, I'm not hoping for a night of in saying this by the way as well, but I, you know I, I like the Queen. I, I mean like I've, ne her. I've never met her. She reminds me of my grandma. So you were a royalist? Or yes, yes, I think so. But I think I think the the royal family might be wise, and you know it's probably cheeky for me to suggest it, but uh, maybe to have more of a a royal thing going on, a bit like they do in um, in Holland, you know, where the the royals are sort of like they're a bit more downscaled sort of thing. They're still honoured by the the public and everything, but there's not so much of the pomp and ceremony and everything, which costs loads of money and which makes them less popular. But if they're, if they're basically, a, if they're like the Queen does already, you know, she goes and supports people and goes and visits and everything, you know, there's a great deal of support to, with her. But, uh, but I think if, um, if they start sort of splashing cash around on themselves too much, I think people think, oh, they're doing all right. And uh, you know what I mean, and they might be a bit more resentful for them. I don't know what you think, but anyway, yeah. But I mean, it, I'm happy for them to have a happy life, you know, the, the, the royal family, because I mean, that's the most important thing is uh, your nearest and your dearest, isn't it? Not necessarily having loads and loads of money, it's got to be, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So very good. London was okay again, but tiring. Mm. What did what did uh, Did you go and see any? Where did you go and Suki, see any? Suki, you went to see Suki. No, granddaughter. We, we, when I got into London on Friday afternoon, I rang them and they were going to arrange to come into into town city and meet up you know and uh, then they decided because it was carolyn and robert and, and um, kate and alex decided that they were going to go to the zoo and um they weren't accepting them though because they're people yeah they went to the zoo and uh you've got to be an animal and it, was be an, bars. it was uh it was suki's first um experience of uh Oh, we yeah. could pretend to be animals. Yeah, so so it was it was your <laughs> granddaughter's first experience to see animals at see, least that, live. That sort of thing. yeah, that sort of thing, yeah. yeah. And she's seen a few cats and dogs in the meantime. I think she has, but not not anything up close yet. Do you know what I mean? And um, she was taken by the penguins anyway. That was what she was fascinated by. Wow. Um, so did you go there as well? No, then? they were. They, they, they. I said to them. They said they were at the zoo. I said, but I wanted to go. 
And, uh, uh -huh. oh, well, you know, but you said you weren't going to go. And then now all of a sudden you you say you are going and you've not let me come. So I told trail, I said, I'm going to trail. I'm not, all right, I'll meet you at Regent's Park. So I trailed up to Regent's and it was red hot. Mm. And I got me, I, I carried too much stuff around. Mm. You know what I mean? I was abs I got a jumper on and a coat, mm. and and it was red hot, and um, and they decided they 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 would they finished doing their tour of the, the zoo and they came to meet me halfway. So, and then we went back to um, the house of Alex's. Yeah, and. Uh, I can't remember what happened then, really. I stayed in the premiere for two nights anyway because mm. Ben was Ben, one of Alex's friends from school, was he came down. Mm. So he he got that spare bed. Yeah. Which is fine, I don't mind. I quite enjoy being in the premiere for a couple of nights. Mm. So I sit down, put the telly on. Mm. And across the, the one I go to now, uh, uh, well, you came that first time. Yeah, yeah. Um, when, you, when we walk around the wrong way and everything. Uh, yeah. And I had toilet trouble. No, no, well, that was after that. It wasn't that trip. Oh, yeah, no, that trip. Yeah, when, okay, when, yeah. You know. And, um... Yeah, I won't go into too to much. It. Well, I know I won't. Go, I don't want to tell you too much about my toilet trouble. So ask another question or say something else. I'm going to Chip A. Does anybody want some fish and chips? No, you. you might not come back. I'll come back. I know, but... Well, you're going to Wendy's. No, I'm going to that show up there. Do you want some fish and chips? No, God, no, no, I'm fine. Do you want a, do you want a chips? No, no, I've got food. I've got, I have got some food in the fridge, you know. We have, but uh, right, are you got well. Are you going to get a chip then? Which chip are you going to? The one in Hillsborough. Uh, you better get on the tram soon because they they'll be getting busy. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Uh, salt and vinegar on. Fish and chips, or probably very few chips. Just a small. Probably a fish. And are you having some chips? Yeah, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm getting myself a, a small fish and chips. Well, you've got right. a couple at home in a bowl, haven't you? Well, just uh, just a few of your chips would be all right. Yeah, but you oh, take that, take that back. No, no, and and the fish. Yeah, because he, yeah, but you, 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 Charlotte, you could give you could give him a couple of them fish that you just got. No, what I'll do is I'll get a large fish, small portion of chips. One portion. Well, of and I'll fish. have I'll have half the fish with you. Yeah, yeah. Go on then. All right then. Yeah. In a few days. All, All right. right then. Come back with half a half a fish is better than none at all. Quarter of a haddock is better than a third oh, of a squid. Look at that trolley. Is better over there. than none. You think the trolley's lonely? I do. I think I think it's right. Well, sad. we could actually do it, Graham. Let's let's go live now. No, I thought we were. Let's I'm not go. Do, I'm not doing it if it's all. No, no but you have mentioned the trolley it. across the road. Yeah. Let me. Let's do a bit of live journalism now. Let me go across the road and you oh, can take that trolley back. I'm Come not, on, I can I'm film not, you all the way. This is an opportunity I'm for you to do it. some good. I just you can it. move it and I can lock the shop so nothing can... Oh, or, do you, or do you want me to move it and you can walk after me and film me? No, no I don't want to do any of You don't want to do either. You just want to sit there and feel sorry for the I trolley. Guess that's all, that was it. And I, and that was the I know, but I'm just saying there's an opportunity. Oh, this is when, when you're doing when you, when you're in a studio doing a bit of filming. No. This you can go live. You see, yeah. you, you can spread your wings. Anyway, you don't want to do it. No. All right then. All I'm saying is it's a shame that people use these trolleys like they do. And then they, they either leave them standing there or they turn them over onto their side or they chuck them in the nearest dike, uh, not dike, but um, water. Uh, and they treat them with such disrespect and, and, and they're only doing their job. Do you feel like that's a bit yourself? Mm. Do you feel like you're, you, you feel like as a person that you're, you get treated by people in life sometimes like one of those trolleys maybe i don't know 
No, it's probably not. I don't know. I wasn't doing it. Not as badly as that. I wasn't doing it for the sympathy, though. No, just... no. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm, I'm going to start writing about Mr. Staples soon. Mr. About what? Mr. Staples. I'm going to write about him soon. Is, it, is he a real person or are you making yeah, it up? Yeah, he was a person that used to... When we lived in the, the asylum grounds at Bristol at Glenside, he was always walking... There was a big area of green and beautiful trees and orchards and yeah. things like that. And then there was the path that perimeter of the, right the way around the huge, huge area of land, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, you all, and you know, Mister Staples, bless his soul, we bullied him, fucking terrible. Oops, sorry. Yeah. We but we bullied him. Uh, we really, we 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 were very unfair on him. And it wasn't me that was doing all the, you know, goading. It was. Asking him for six pence and stuff like that, so we could all get some sweets. It was very cruel because yeah. he was lonely and he had, and he constantly walked around the perimeter of this ground. He must have walked miles. Yeah. He walked around and he, he was small. He was slightly hunched. He got a, like a Colombo style raincoat that was mm. a bit grubby. You know what I mean? And he carried his worldly goods in his carrier bag, and he and he'd always got a, a drip at the end of his nose. Mm. Which isn't very attractive, I know, but, it, you know, and, and we used to go there and we didn't bully him as in punching him or anything like that. But you, you mocked him a bit. Well, we, we, we were just cruel. We, we just said, you know, can you give us some, can you give us some money? It's a good mm. job my dad didn't find out. Good deal. Did, you, did, you ever, did your dad ever smack you? No. Did your mum smack you? No. Not that I can remember. Well, it probably told you off for the finger, didn't they? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, it, sometimes that's enough. I think you know. my mum did slap me once across the face mm. for some reason. I don't know what it was for, though. It was something to do with opening a tin of fruit before she, she wanted to. Something trivial like that, you know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I don't know whether I tell you, but I'm ashamed to admit that I, my mother, I was cheeky to my mother. And my mum slapped me across the face for being cheeky to her, mm. and I slapped her back, mm. well, which was pretty extreme. Yeah, and you, like, you, yeah. you, if you'd have done that, you'd have probably felt awful about it, yeah. t even now. But I mean, the good thing was that my brother was there, and my older brother, and he, I lost two one. He gave me a slap, another slap across the yeah. face, yeah. and 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 the, probably neither of them told my dad because I'd have probably. Had a, you know, probably had a, my bottom spanked at the very least. I would have thought, but yeah. you know, not in a, not in a cruel way or anything. Just no. to sort of teach you a lesson, not yeah. to be, not to be, um, to you respect mean. your parents. Yeah, absolutely. They do so much for you, and then, yeah. well, if you got decent ones like you, you did, and I had, you know, it's it's a shameful thing to admit, you know, that you. You want to slap your mother? Yeah, I didn't slap my mother. I, no, no, I, I imagine you didn't, but I was, you know, I was a teenager, you know, and it was... We had a, blow, we had a fallout with my dad once that nearly came to blows. Uh, this is when I was DJing in, in that nightclub, and we were all tired. My dad was tired because he was working all week, and he'd drive me out to these nightclubs every yeah. weekend and wait for me and then bring me back or whatever, you know what I mean? And I took it all a little bit for granted. Mm. And um, and then one day, uh, somebody was interested in. I, at the time, I got my record deck set up in the spare bedroom, mm. up in in Ashbourne Grove. Yeah. And I got a mate. A mate came around, a friend. Yeah. And he was into music and everything. And he, I think he fancied having a go at being a DJ. So all my gear was there. So yeah let him have a go you know what I mean but my dad and mum were coming from shopping and my dad must have been in a bit of a bad mood well I think partly because this mate of mine was smoking and he didn't want yeah he didn't want house. smoking in the house no and I didn't have the the bottle to tell him not to smoke you know I see I mean? yeah and uh and then my dad just kind of shouted. Was he just smoking cigarette smoke, or was it? I mean, my dad was a yeah. My dad was a was a was pretty prolific smoker himself uh, early yeah. on, you know. 
But it wasn't smoking marijuana or anything. No, no. Oh, no, I see what you mean. No, no. I mean, not your dad. I mean, the, the yeah, friend the you book, invited yeah, in. Yeah, 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 go on. Well, I used to do his wife's hair. That's how it came about. And, mm. But... Uh, how old would you, would you would you be in your 20s then? Or yeah, something? And, he, and I was upstairs and, and he he says to me, get, get him out of my house and all that. And I was really embarrassed because he was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, mate, and all that. And well, had he, did he, had he met him before? I'd met him through doing... Uh, no, but had your dad met him before? No, no. But But, the, but uh, he he objected because your dad would have known that you would have said to him, please don't smoke because my dad doesn't like it. I should have done. I should have done. Uh, and, um, yeah, but so because he was feeling free, free to smoke in the house, he wasn't welcome. True. Anyway, sorry, go on. No, that's trying it, to get the and, facts and, and, and we had a we had a bit of a a blowout, you know, and he and he threatened to thump me and everything and he came storming up the stairs but I, I, I kicked out and punched him well he caught him back. And I, I felt What did he bash you a little bit? No, he didn't, he didn't reach me in time. I, I defended myself but he would have done probably I, but it's the one and only time, do you know what I mean? What, and you eat him on the arm or something like that? I can't him. remember him. I think I, I Yeah. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, my mum were crying, and no, it was the right. It was the right. So you you let your parents down a bit then as well, like me then, didn't you really? In a, in a little way, but yeah, but but I mean, you know, that was just one incident, and but I mean, the way you've honoured them and and looked after them when they were older and need of help, you know, I'm sure they would have forgiven you, sort of thing. Well, I hope so, but I mean, I do worry about it. I think of my dad. Thinking he might have bad thoughts about me, I don't know, but um, I loved him. Yeah. And I, and I love him still. Yeah. And I, and I love my mum, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think. So, but, I mean, Graham, none of us is a perfect individual. No, no. So, you know. But I do feel guilt. I do still think about it. I think, uh, after all, he was always, always, always there. He, he lent me the money to get the first eat me decks and stuff. Mm. And then he helped me, you know, set it up and then mm. working it and then taking me out to weddings and stuff yeah. and discos and waiting for me and driving a long way and picking me up. And, oh, man, you know. And I did, I, I probably took him a bit for granted, really. Yeah. Well, I, th I he, think... He was always there to pick us up. He was a, he was a good bloke. Well, I'm, sh I'm sure there's loads of people... Well, I mean, depending on how many people watch this, but, you know, the six people who might see this for the next few weeks before it goes on a few years and then people see it in a couple of years' time or something like that, um, I'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I've I've been like that, Graham. Um, you know, even though they don't know you necessarily. Or, or you know, I, I said something nasty to my dad or, I, you know, I didn't... Um, I didn't respect him as much as I could have done all the time, sort of thing. So I think you probably find that loads of people have, um, you know, been disappointed with themselves because they haven't, uh, yeah. But we we cleared it up, and, and and the guy offered to leave the house anyway. Yeah. He, he said he didn't want a, uh, anything happening on his account, so uh, yeah. He 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 went, you know. Left. Well, that was all right to him, wasn't it? And then we did you on. did you did you do his his wife's hair after yeah, that? Then I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Remember now. Um, yeah. It was his wife's hair I was doing anyway, not his. Yeah. But uh, mm. she used to live in Chapel Town. Mm. Yeah. It's uh, no. I, Everyone's. Uh, I've always got it with me, my dad, and, and yeah. well, both of them. I remember in, in St. Luke's. Oh fucking hell! In St. Luke, I, I sat next. I sat with him all, all the time. Is this when he was? David and, and Carol did their bit, but not as much as I did, you know, because they were busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is this is St. Luke's. This is a a, a home for people who are um, getting towards the end of their life, isn't it? Is that what? Yeah. The hospice. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was uh, he was in bed anyway, and I'm sat next to him as usual and stuff. And then, you know, he, he kind of said something to me that, and then I, I, I just saw, 
I saw this tear running down his cheek. Mm. Oh, God. Makes me want to cry now, thinking about it. And he said something nice to you. I told him I loved him, and I said to him, he said, I suppose you've decided what to do with the bungalow. And I said, no. I said, come on, Dad, I, I, I don't... I haven't even given it a thought. I said, yeah. it's, it's not the right place or time to think about stuff yeah. like that, because it makes it look like we're just sitting there waiting for you to pass on. And yeah. that isn't... It, what, that is just not the case yeah, yeah. at all. So I was with him, and I was sat with him, and... The only thing that was disappointing was he actually passed away when I wasn't there, mm. you know. Because we'd come down, ironically, with Carol, and I think Alex was with us as well, mm. uh, Xander, my son. Yeah. And we came down, I think came down to drop something off to Alex. Yeah, yeah. Alex, your friend, yeah. Yeah, Alex. Well, yeah, I, yeah I, no, I I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm yeah. just explaining from the point of view of yeah, she was just a, she was more than just a friend. You know what I mean? She yeah. Was, I, mean, I, I care for Alex as, as a, you know, I, I care for Alex as well. Yeah. In a, in a big way, I was always there for her. Anyway, what yeah. were you gonna? You were gonna? What were you gonna say? You were gonna say, yeah. Uh, so he, so he died when uh, you weren't. Yeah, there. I got a phone call as we were just, and, and and to get back to the hospital. And he, the time I got back, he passed. But, um, I was disappointed in that because I'd been with him all the time and when it came to the crunch, I wasn't there. Well... And then I think... Uh, I can't remember the name. Um, they moved him into another role. He had been moved into another room anyway. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say there. Yeah, but you you felt that, you know, you've been with him a lot and then all of a sudden, uh, you he know, there. you weren't there for the the last bit, no. the last farewell, as it were. Yeah. But he, but your dad would have known that you, you loved him very much. and. Well, I think Carol and, and David kind of said, you know, you, you, you were there all the time. Don't reproach yourself for it. Yeah. Know? I said, I can't, we, I, I, even now, I think about it. I think about it. I talk to him every day. Mm. I've got his ashes still, and I've got my mum's ashes, and I've got Alan. Bloody hell, I've got everybody's ashes, even Arthur ashes. <laughs> you know. Um, well, you're doing a lot better than the English cricket team, aren't you? The English cricket team? Yeah, because they... Oh, with the ashes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a Sheffield United fan coming up here. What? A Sheffield fan. It'll be a Sunderland fan, isn't it? Oh, Sunderland, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah Bay Tigers, Bay Tigers. So what? Uh, what? What's your? Uh, what's your prediction then for the uh, uh, the match then? Wednesday are playing uh, Sunderland, and I'm just trying the... to think about it in my head. What the score's going to be? What, rather than thinking about it in your leg? Well, rather than thinking about it using one of your legs? Yeah. I'm thinking it might be... I think Wednesday would be so fired up for it, I think it might be about 2-0. Well, I'm a bit... I'm a little bit concerned that... I can imagine Wednesday getting two goals... And then get, some, get away then, then, yeah, but away goals don't matter. Oh, okay. Uh, and then Sunderland will make it 2 1, and then it'll be penalties. And you're not very good at penalties. Well, well, they won't be asking me, will they? Be the players, you know what I mean? You know, when no, yeah, I know what you meant. Very good and I've penalties. got this, I've got this horror scenario that Wednesday's Wednesday, you've got the, the top scorer, <coughs> and um, and I'm just concerned that if it goes to penalties this top scorer who we can't blame at all if he misses a penalty or the goalie saves it and he's been so good at scoring all season and we probably wouldn't have been in the playoffs if it hadn't been for him Lee Gregory uh, yeah. you know if um, 
Who is he? Where's he from? He's from Stoke, but he's, he's originally from Sheffield. I mean, so... Oh, he's a Sheffield lad. Yeah, but right. I won't put this on till probably after the, the match, really. I'm not, people won't see it anyway, but I'm just hoping that's that's my horrific scenario, that Wednesday's best scorer, it'll, it'll end up going to penalties, and then the person that you rely on the most to score you the goals... I mean, uh, will be what would be like uh, Ronaldo for Man United, wouldn't it? Mm. Or or whoever Sahar for Crystal Palace and the other yeah, team. He scored, support. didn't he? On, uh, Saturday. Well, they played Watford, didn't they? Witchford. Palace. They played Watford, didn't they? Witchford. Watford. Watford. Oh yeah, Wh- Wh- Watford. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, just a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, Watford. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Watford, yeah, no. So Watford. I scored that goal, and uh, Brighton hammered Man U. Yeah, yeah, 4-0. yeah, yeah. That was they it. are just not. They're gonna have well, to it, really improve. Yeah, but Brighton are good. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking anything away from Brighton. And they, they've well suddenly score. they've suddenly found out how to score. Did Welbeck score? I don't know, but they got four goals. But I think. But I game. think they. If it hadn't been for Brighton's goalie, I think Man United would have got a couple. Oh, yeah. <coughs> anyway, I don't think anything's going to come of me and Liz. Anyway, uh, well, you and Queen Elizabeth, you mean? Yes. Well, you never know. Uh, you might. Uh, well, it, it, it's her. Uh, it's uh, what do you call it, though, isn't it? It's uh, it's her platinum anniversary. Platinum. Yeah, the, you know, I'm surprised you you referred to her like that. It's uh, <laughs> Liz, yeah. yeah, Her Majesty the Queen. It's true. Well, she she seems the sort of lass that you could actually say, "Hello, Liz, how are you?" Oh, I'm our, our Queen. Yeah, yeah. You probably you probably could. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, That's it's been interesting. That one might sing on that chair, by the way. Hey? That's my mug on that. My show. mug. And it's on the arm right there. Your mug. And it's on the arm right there. Your mug. And it's on the arm right there. Your mug. And there's yeah. nothing in it now. I better go start walking because there's going to be a right. Well, it's, it's only two and a half uh, minutes and then we'll have done a half an hour. Hey, why don't you do one of your poems? Can you remember any of your poems off by hand? Uh, I can remember a little bit of e- Egypt, the smell. No, no, more the aroma. The toffee nose punt has even bought the papona. I can't remember the rest of it, but I'll, I'll dig it out. All right, but what about another little bit of another little um, poem? Somebody asked me once if I knew anything about diets. So uh, it was actually Liz who, uh, Lucy who used to come here with the curly hair and we used to play badminton. Yeah. She rang me up once and she said, my friend's doing a, his degree in nursing or nutrition and he wants he needs to write some sort of essay on diets. Oh, yeah. So instead of sort of like saying, I couldn't think of anybody, but I'll tell you this poem if you want. And I wrote, and I, and I, and I, and I gave it to... And I read her two poems that I've done, but I can't. Re- I have to read them off. I can't remember them now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, because I know you've written written poems in the past, and you've you've you've. Uh, yeah, but I don't mm-hmm. think they're poems. They're proper poems in the true sense of the word, are they? I, well, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I think. Um, I think basically we've got a free country, so people should write what they want if it's not uh, defamatory. Yeah, or you know, in, or encouraging people to be violent or something like that, or violet. I mean, it's not so bad encouraging people to be violet, but uh, yeah, yeah. So was it all match of the day today? Oh no, it won't be. No, no, but it'll be on. It'll be on Sky. But I, but I don't think your telly. <laughs> I might have. I didn't intend to, but I might have done your telly in a bit. Yeah, thanks for that. Well, I didn't intend to. I just. Well, I think you might be able to sort it out fairly quickly. 
Can you afford to pay for it fixing? Oh, you're going to 20 quid note on my seat, by the way. I transferred it to you, didn't I? Oh, did you? I think I transferred it into your account. Because you gave me all the details and everything. I give you the sort code. I found it out. Da, 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 da. Dramatic end. How does Elton Clough know Graham Simpson's sort code for his bank? Simply because he looked it up on the internet and found out the particular bank that he belongs to, which he might recommend. And, uh, you know, he might get some extra money for recommending the bank. What's it called, that bank? Starling. Starling. Yeah, David came up with the idea. Yeah, well, it's... Anyway, oh. it's... I transferred it, so you should have got it. You transferred it? Yeah. So, anyway, so... Oh, just... Can you remember what Harry Corbett used to say at the end of the Sutty Show, bye Grass? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Well, look at the camera when you're saying it. Don't be, don't be lazy, Harry. Sorry, I was looking for my, my spectacles.